Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and I'm back again with another movie review, an animated movie review at that. This is Medea's Tough Love. I'm going to just take the cover off of that. That way you can see it a little bit better with Miss Medea. Um, at first I was, I thought, oh my goodness, my, my dream has come true. <laughs> they're going to make Medea into an animated character and they're going to do an animated movie. I saw the cover and I thought, oh, please, dear God, don't let this be another Bebe's Kids. Well, thankfully it wasn't an another Bebe's Kids. <laughs> it was far better than that. It just has the similar um, <coughs> flavor of uh, Medea's humor and just the whole idea of the horror and the moral and the lesson behind the um, uh, goings on in the, in the hood, as it were. And, um, I love the fact that they have Uncle Joe and Aunt Bam in it, as I love Uncle Joe and Aunt Bam so much. I mean, Medea is my favorite, of course, because she's the best, and she's so hilarious. And she transitions very well, uh, from live action to cartoon. She's perfect for that. And, uh, actually, Tyler Perry provided the voice for, for uh, Joe and Medea, as he well should. His, they're his characters. It's, it's Tyler Perry's world, man. Uh, <laughs> it's his work. It's his spiel. And he does it so well. This is the kind of down-home, southern uh, discipline. And I just, I adore it. And this whole thing, and it's, you know, it's called Tough Love for a reason. Um, she get a... She gets in trouble with police, it, well, in the animated world. <laughs> she gets in trouble with the police, and the judge sentences her to community service with uh, um, this uh, youth center. And she runs into uh, Nettie and uh, Dang Dang, uh, the two kids that she has in her arms. And uh, <laughs> it's so funny, because in the very beginning of the movie, there, there's skateboarding, and they... They don't even say excuse me to this lady that they run across, and she's like, "Oh no, you didn't," and she gets all mad, and it's <laughs> this just is so funny. It's just full of heart, and it's very warm and uplifting, and it just has all the things that you've expected in a Tyler Perry movie. Um, it's tremendous, and I know a lot of you are probably saying, "Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's just." sold into the man actually there's a lot of message about standing up for uh, realizing who you are being true to yourself uh going against the man as it were standing up against the man uh realizing that the law is actually your friend don't don't like he like she said you can't run from the popo uh <laughs> yeah no don't run from the police come on that's just dumb uh, she's just watching a show at the very beginning and, and the running away is it says uh it's her favorite show it's, it's actually the show is called running away from the popo and she said you can't run away from the popo what you think you're doing running away from popo and uh <laughs> she actually um says no cheering cheering no don't no stop <laughs> You just asked Popo what, what uh, for help because that's what they're there for. And, you know, it was just is so funny. It really is. And a lot of people say, nah, it's chicanery. Come on. Tyler Perry is making a point. He's doing so in a very tongue-in-cheek tongue manner. It's satire. <laughs> yeah, there might be racial stereotypes, but come on. Get over yourselves. I watch Italia for God's sakes. <laughs> there are a lot of stereotypes in Italia and it's it's not just about the stereotypes, it's about other things other than stereotypes. That the stereotypes are what makes it funny, but um then again, you're you're learning a, a lot and it's the same thing with uh, Madea's uh, world here. And uh I'm not going to say what happens cuz it's going to ruin the whole plot, but there's a lot going on. Um <clears throat> There's a woman named um, Betsy Holiday, and she wants to be voted for mayor. And, of course, all, there's all this uh, corporate deceit and greed going on. And uh, there's a, a park that became a parking lot, as Medea said. <laughs> it was so funny. And only she became tickled at that joke. There were a couple guys that she talked to, her uh, Betsy's um, Secret Service guys, so to speak, that laughed at it. And... Um, 
I, I just I love everything about this movie. It's just extremely well done. Uh, Bento did a great job with it. It was done with uh, it was done in, in conjunction with TPS, which is Tyler Perry Studios and Lionsgate. But Bento Bento Box they they did the animation. They're they're out of Korea. Um, they did an excellent job. I think I uh, if you look at the uh, um, the extras called Medea gets animated. I mean, the, the animation storyboards are just really tremendous, and the artwork is gorgeous. And I, I love the sketches they did of, of Medea, and I, I wish I could draw like that. Oh, I would be so happy if I could, because I would do my own animation, believe me, you. And I know it's not easy. I remember there's this guy, he doesn't do his his own working work. He's on, he's on YouTube, it's just kind of a, a ghost of his former self, because he's married now. But, uh, like myself, and I know I'm going off on a tangent here, but like myself, he's a big They Might Be Giants fan. Um, he's Greek. Well, his heritage is Greek. Uh, I'm still a huge fan of his. His, his name, his, I don't know his real name. His name is The People's Cartoonist. He did Your Half and Third Wish. And he did a Third Wish short, which is still on YouTube. Um, but I don't know if he's doing anything anymore. I, I tried to go to The People's Cartoonist, and it didn't seem to be updated and I was kind of sad I thought eh, I wanted to see a your half animation and I was hoping that you would do that and I actually had contact with him in the past and I'm still a big fan of his I'm, I'm wishing I could email him and say hey I'm, I'm still a big fan of yours I like what you do your work is inspiring to me um, keep up what you're doing I know you're married but I'm I'm still a huge fan and um, I just I support what you do uh, Please continue your work. I, I want to see a finished product. I know you're busy, but uh, this little fan over here is kind of wishing that you would do a your a, a your half animated uh, feature. Anyway, if I can get in touch with him again, I'd be very very happy. But I don't know if I can. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna try. I'm see if it works, but. He, he has remnants of his former glory <laughs> on YouTube. And, and the um, the uh, third wish was actually very <laughs> scandalous and very stereotypical, very misogynistic. Because at the time, he, he it's just this way he was. And I, I didn't see anything wrong with it. I just thought it was hilarious. Uh, <laughs> um it's the same thing with with Tyler Perry. It's just yeah, a lot of a lot of people that don't like him just uh, just they just miss it as chicanery and um, tomfoolery and uh, racial racial stereotype. It, well, yeah, you got a lot of that in this. I mean, come on, it it, it is what it is. But it, it it's uh, at its uh, very heart, it it gets to the point of you know these these kids they don't really have anybody. They they were all disappointed in the past and they don't have anybody to stand up for them. But then. Medea, she's got this big heart, and she realizes that she was in the wrong with how she was treating them, and um, she uh, she decides to basically take them underneath her wing, and with her help, she whips them into shape, and um, they're able to do the impossible. I'm not going to say what happens, but uh, it's just a really good story, and uh, I was just so so pleased with it and there's a really good gospel song in it called raise the roof it's amazing it's tremendous <laughs> and i absolutely adored it i love everything about this um if you like tyler perry's work then by all means you'll probably would absolutely savor this from start to finish um it's definitely nothing like bay base kids thank almighty lord jesus um, it is not bad at all. It is very good. It has so many excellent things about it. And the voice acting is top notch. I mean, Tyler Perry is absolute perfection in this. His uh, uncle, even as Uncle Joe, I thought you were good. You're really, really good. I mean, he just portrays these characters incredibly well. And to see Modia animated and um, he's. His purse is kind of like Felix the Cat's bag of tricks and Mary Poppins' bag. And um, I'm going to throw another one in there for you. Um, <laughs> 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 
what was it? Nanny McPhee. Yeah, Nanny McPhee. It's it's along the same. Well, actually, she's called Nurse Matilda in the original version. But anyway, sorry, I just a little bit of trivial knowledge there for you who want to know the actual um, uh, origin of uh, Nurse Matilda there. But anyway, it's it's just a combination of Nurse Matilda slash Nanny McPhee slash Mary Poppins. Actually, it would be uh, of urban. Mary Poppins here, and I love the fact that she uses her purse as a means of transportation, just to, like a helicopter, and I, I just thought that was so cool. The physics of cartoons, people, I just love it. And they, they use the laws of, of cartoon physics in this quite a bit. The things that they couldn't do with a, a live-action film, they could do whatever they wish. With the cartoons, you, you can do whatever. It's It's ad infinitum the possibilities that you can do with it and i love the fact that then in, in the movie she pulls uh, items out of her purse because her purse is so large it's just like this uh never-ending uh portal into another dimension <laughs> and she just pulls out stuff that you, do, you would not even imagine but they're always practical items <laughs> especially when she she finds herself under house arrest later on in the movie but it's it's just it's just so, it's really excellent, and if you have a chance to see it do, because I highly recommend it, and I give it two thumbs way up, five stars, hands down. Uh, Tyler Perry, you have another gem, and I just, I love you for it, I'm glad you did it. Um, it kind of left it open for a sequel, in a way, because, um, you know, the man says, We will meet again, Medea, this is not the end. And Maurice LaMarche is a voice in it as well. I thought, that is the voice of Maurice LaMarche. And because he does the voice of Grimoire Gloom in the 70, and I, oh, I love Maurice, he's my hero. Uh, he's one of the voices in it. He's He plays one of the yes men for uh, Betsy. And I recognized his voice immediately. I'm like, Maurice! <laughs> and I always do that. I, if I hear... I'm coming! I'll be down there in a minute! Okay, sorry, had to yell. Anyway, uh, Mr. Horvitz, I'm a big fan of his too, and I'm hoping I can meet him in the future, because he's awesome too. He's extremely um, friendly and just a very a wonderful person. He's just a sweetheart. I've, I've met a lot of different voice actors via email. I haven't met him in person. I've just been very fortunate, and I'm hoping that in, in the near future I can actually meet some voice actors and actresses, and especially, um, what's her face? Uh, not Tara Strong, but uh, Wendy Lee. I really, 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 really like Wendy Lee. I mean, I'm a huge, 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 massive uber fan of Wendy's because she's done everything in anime and I'm just you know a huge otaku and I don't I don't want to go into that anyway um just uh pointing that out and I'm sorry I went on another tangent anywho that's basically all I had to say I'm, I'm working on quite a few things here so uh I'm still watching Natalia and enjoying every moment of it it's really funny and as soon as I get done watching it I'm gonna do a review of it so until next time, everybody. Jeanne!